Hello and welcome to Holly and Martin Do Road Safety. Martin and I work for Suffolk County Council's road safety team and we are here to provide you with some useful advice for life on the road. Hello Martin. Hello Holly. Today we are joined by fellow road safety officer, keen cyclist and lead bikeability trainer John Scholl to discuss cycling and bikeability in schools after lockdown. Afternoon John. Hello. Uh, since lockdown began John, I've noticed a big increase in cyclists and have been driving about doing shopping that sort of thing which i personally think is a really good thing why do you think it's important for young people to know how to cycle i mean riding your bike is just a, a great way to see your friends keep fit uh, many people can ride their bikes but not so many know how to learn to ride them safely and it makes a huge yeah. difference in um, in feeling more confident when you're riding in traffic going further and riding for longer if you can get a little bit of training as well yeah definitely hi john i noticed during the lockdown a lot of people as holly said out on bikes but they seem to be enjoying the social side of it but now we've been told to avoid public transport i'm expecting a lot more people on their bikes commuting for work which isn't quite the same thing i'd like if you if you can to give us a few tips on that and also any tips about riding for the or choosing and riding for the first time on an e-bike yeah, I've seen loads more riders out and about as well, riders of all ages. Um, I mean, if you're new to riding in traffic, so if you wanted to ride to work, um, maybe just try and ride ride your route at a quieter time of day in the evening, because uh, it's so light in the evening now. Just do the same route, 7 or 8 o'clock in the evening, um, and this give you a chance to see if the route that you think would be good uh, would be okay if it was too busy. Um, but if you come across a junction which you think is too busy, there's nothing to stop you just stopping. You can get off, walk around the junction, get back on again, and away you go. That works quite well. Uh, and e-bikes, they're great, but they are quite expensive. So if you can, try before you buy it from a friend, maybe. Um, spend some time doing some research. They're a lot of money. So you can visit as many shops as you can, maybe book a demo ride or two and see how you get on. Well, thanks, John. Actually, I'm thinking of getting an e-bike myself, I'll certainly do that. Um, a lot of the, the um, people I've seen out cycling are parents with their children. What sort of um, tips do you have for parents when riding with children? And what kind of equipment should they have? Uh, best to start right at the beginning. So check their bike with them. Uh, we do a thing called an ABC check. Uh, so A would be for air. B for brakes and C for chain. So using that simple ABC, that can help you remember what to check. And of course, wearing a helmet is a good, a good, good idea. Uh, but you just got to check that it fits properly. And of course, wear one yourself to set a good example. And then the best thing to do if you're new to riding with them, find a nice quiet area, uh, watch them ride. It's explain how to use the brakes. Obviously, the left brake is the back brake. You can use that one before the right one, the front one. See if they can look behind them whilst riding or lift one hand off the handlebars and keep in a fairly straight line. That's quite good fun. But when you ride on the roads, ask them to keep about one metre away from the left hand curb. And then you can ride behind them, keep an eye on them and just see how they get on. And when you get to a T-junction for the first time, maybe pull over and explain how T-junctions work. So aim to ride just short distances first. See how they get on, and hopefully they'll be out and about on their bikes soon and enjoy themselves. Thanks, John. So you say the children should be in front. I see so many parents with the children behind. It's always best, I feel, if you ride, ride behind them, um, so you can keep an eye on the on the on the child. Um, of course, when you get to a T junction, you can stop, see how it works, and the next time you get to a T junction, maybe you could ride in front so they follow you at T junction, so they know what to do. Brilliant. Thanks, John. Um, John, a lot of parents at home may want to know if there's any sort of official training that um, Suffolk Road Safe offer for their young cyclists. I'm aware the road safety team does currently manage to deliver the um, bikeability courses within Suffolk schools. I understand there's different levels, different ages of children. Could you tell us a little bit more about how that works? Yeah, I mean, bikeability is the, is the new cycling proficiency. Uh, so there's levels one, two and three. So in schools in Suffolk, we do levels one and two, and that's for years five and or six. The school can choose which year group they want. Uh, so level one is a couple of hours for the first session. That's on the playground. That's just to make sure the children actually ride a bike. 
And then level two is over three sessions of two hours each, and that's all on the road. And at the end of the se chess session, the, uh, the children receive a badge, a booklet, and a certificate with an explanation on how they get on. And level three is aimed at riders who want to commute to work or ride to high school. Uh, best thing to do, if you, uh, if you have a look on the Bikeability website, there's lots of information on there as well. And course, yeah, courses are booked through us um, or through the school. Uh, and level three is booked directly through me. So. Right, so parents can contact you if they're interested in that sort of thing as well. Yeah, probably the first first thing to do would be have a chat with the school, because all the, right. all the courses are offered through schools, except the few courses that we can run in the school holidays in sports centres. Okay, lovely. Thank you. Yeah, of course, when COVID broke out, John, of course, the bike ability stopped, but I understand you've got some news about it returning. Yeah, this week um, in Keddington primary near Haverhill. They started training on Monday and we're with them for two weeks and we're also at Easton near Framlingham just for a short course tomorrow uh, and a few more schools getting uh, in touch with me uh, every day now so it's looking promising for this term. Just year six of course because they're the only ones that are back. Oh, oh, looking really forward good. to that, yeah. Yeah, that's really good. I imagine um many parents and also members of staff and children themselves um, will be wanting to know how the bike ability trainers are going to maintain social distancing. Um, what kind of things are they going to do to make sure this happens? Well, usually our groups are 12 children, uh, but it's now six children per group. So that means we have more space and time to think about our new social distance guidelines. Right. Uh, we also ensure that all the schools are happy with new working procedures and risk assessments before we start training. So it all, it all seems to be going so well, uh, well so far. Is there gonna be any involvement of spraying down the bikes or helmets, that sort of thing? Um, we may have to spray down the bikes if we have to touch them to uh, adjust them or uh, maintain them. Uh, yeah. But things like that shouldn't, we, 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 we've got some gloves as well that we may need yeah. to use, but we'll see how it goes. Oh, brilliant. So, that brings us to the end of today's cycling podcast. Um, thank you so much for listening. Thank you, John, for joining Martin and I. If you do have any further questions about the topics discussed or want to contact us for more information, please feel free to email us at suffolkroadsafe at suffolk.gov.uk or visit our website, suffolkroadsafe.com. All the details will be in the description box. Thank you ever so much. Stay safe and happy cycling. Bye. Bye.